You guys probably know Mr. Beast as a very kind person who has given away millions of dollars and has become the most successful YouTuber in the history of the platform to ever exist in just a couple of years. But after this video, you will never look at Jimmy the same way ever again. Here's 10 dark things about Mr. Beast and his childhood that you definitely didn't know before. First, we gotta talk about Mr. Beast's mom. He said a couple of times that when he finally became rich and gave his mother $100,000 for a video, that was the proudest day of his life. But this wasn't just a cool name for the video. I wanted to give you a check to help you pay for it. No. Then like- No! No, Jimmy! You get all emotional. His mom, Sue Parisher, was an absolute hero for Jimmy. After serving the U.S. military for over 21 years, she became the single mother and was raising two of her kids, who are Jimmy and his older brother, CJ. When Jimmy was just 16 years old, his mom said that he either goes to college or she kicks him out of the house. Jimmy already has been doing YouTube for a couple of years at this moment, but his mother didn't know that. According to Jimmy, he decided to focus on YouTube and completely skip the college. He had only six months to get the YouTube money to prove his mother that this is more important than studying. Jimmy says that this was the lowest point of his entire life and he will never forget those times. I always wanted to make enough money to do YouTube full time by the time I got out of high school and I wasn't. So then my mom made me go to a community college and it was miserable. It was literally the worst time of my life. I hated it with the passion. So then I just stopped going to community college and I would go to my friend's house and just work on videos. But I basically had like six months until my mom found out that I wasn't going and she was going to kick me out. So that's when I went really hard and I did that video and a bunch of other videos and I had a month where I made 20 grand and then I told my mom I was like hey I'm moving out also I have straight zeros and she like almost had a fucking heart attack because she didn't understand it she just wanted what was best for me and then I moved out talking about Mr. Beast's mother she basically saved Jimmy's life when he was just a child we all know about Mr. Beast's mom but Jimmy never talks about his dad and this is for reason because he turned out to be a domestic abuser according to his mom's Amazon bio she is a domestic abuse survivor and she even made a book about it Mr. Beast's mother's name is Sue Parisher it used to be Sue Donald the same last name as Mr. Beast and his brother CJ have, but his mom decided to change it since she doesn't want to associate herself with her ex-husband and the father of Jimmy and CJ. Her full bio says this, Sue Parisher is a retired lieutenant colonel who served 21 honorable years on active duty while married to her abuser who was also an army officer. After a 20-year break from faith, she pleaded for God to enter her world moments after her abuser attempted to kill her. Frightened, alone, holding tightly to her secret for fear of her life, she believed time and distancing herself from her abuser would heal her from the horrors of her past, a nervous breakdown seven years into her recovery opened her eyes to this, that in order for her to transition from a domestic violence victim to survivor, she had to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week at reprogramming how her mind thought and how she responded to the world around her. Right now, Jimmy's mother has a book about surviving the domestic violence, and Mr. Beast himself never talks about his dad. Mr. Beast is absolutely dedicated to YouTube, and he has a huge plan of two mind-blowing things for his channel, even after his death. The first First thing he wants to do after he dies is to make people believe that he is still alive. If I knew I was gonna die of like cancer or something and I had like three months to live, I would vlog every day. I'd film so many videos and then I would just schedule upload a video a week for like the next five years. So it's like I'm still alive and I would completely act like I'm still alive and everything. And I think something like that would be cool. I don't know why, but I've dreamt about that a lot. If I only had 30 days to live, what would I do? And for me, I would try to make like a decade's worth of content and schedule upload it so they automatically go public in the future. And so it's just like I never died. I'm there. If you think making a decade worth of videos to trick 200 million people audience is crazy, here's another thing Mr. Beast plans for his death, and I promise this will just blow your mind. After Mr. Beast dies, he said that all of his friends, including Chandler, Chris, Carl, and Nolan, will put their hands on his tombstone, and whoever lasts the longest will get his entire YouTube empire worth more than $20 billion. If you wonder if his cameraman Tariq will also be participating in this challenge, Jimmy said that he didn't decide yet. The second I die, Carl, Chandler, Chris, the three guys, Nolan, maybe. He's a little newer. We haven't decided <laughs> if he partakes yet or not. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah They yeah. all put their hand on my tombstone, last take it off, gets the channel. Everything. 100% wow. everything. What about um, Thotic, dude? You just left the brown guy out of this. Well, <laughs> he, he's not on camera. He's the camera guy. So, like, most people haven't seen him. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Tariq gets to put his hand on the tombstone? Yes. I think so. As I mean, of right now, clear. it's just yeah, written yeah, yeah. in the, like, little plan. It's just those three. We have to update it and put Nolan and maybe Tariq in it. That yeah. is happening. Mark my words. I don't even know if I've really said it publicly. 
I tweeted it one time, but I'm serious. I don't give a fuck how much you guys are crying. Put their fucking hands on the tombstone and give the channel to whoever wins, okay? And don't bully them for it. They're just doing what I want. Talking about Mr. Beast's death, we gotta talk about his Crohn's disease. Even though right now it's not that serious for Jimmy, back in time when he was just diagnosed with it, it became an absolute nightmare for Mr. Beast and his family. He had to stop his baseball career. He lost over a 50 pounds and so much more. The good thing about it is that Crohn's actually helped Mr. Beast to become a professional YouTuber because otherwise he would just continue his baseball career and would never become a YouTuber. Basically your intestines are inflamed and because they're inflamed you don't process food as well so if I eat something it would just go right through me like literally within a day and because it's so inflamed it's like someone's just dragging like a knife across your stomach so it's super painful. Jimmy's diagnosis of Crohn's was earth shattering. Even crazier thing is Mr. Beast stalkers. Since he is one of the most famous people on earth nowadays, lots of people want to find where he is. And according to Jimmy, he already got used to having a stalkers. And some of them are even paying private investigators to find Mr. Beast. At first, Mr. Beast was not taking it seriously, but one time he got robbed and this changed it all. Here's the stalker story. Mr. Beast revealed on one of the podcasts he's been to. I can't remember if it was Dubai or somewhere in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. And this is just something that happens. Yeah. yeah, someone, this happens a lot. So whenever people call local private investigators, they just let us know. This is actually wild. Because of that thing, Jimmy even had to move to a new house and hire a 24 hour security. Mr. Beast almost died over five times in the last couple of years. He even had a wild story when his driver passed out and came back to life while driving Mr. Beast home. After the story, Jimmy even changed his Twitter bio to, I want to make the world a better place before I die. Meaning that this situation changed his life forever. Later on, a podcast, he revealed that he is afraid of death because he doesn't know what's going to happen after he dies. We start our drive home. Me and like two of my other friends. My friend driving, he just says, when you pull over to a gas station, I don't feel too good. And I'm like looking at the road and I turn and look to my left and his head's just bobbling like dead. So I instantly am like, this fucker fell asleep. So I grab the wheel. I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm just kind of like keeping the car going straight. And I just yell, wake the fuck up. And I'm like yelling yeah. and he's not waking up. So I'm steering the car, but to take his foot off the gas, I have to put my head below the steering wheel so I can reach it. <laughs> So I'm like <laughs> driving and I was just like, I, we can't go hundred miles an hour. We're, there's cars everywhere. There's a fucking dude riding your ass. And I'm like, my fucking driver's dead. I gotta slow this car down. And then, you know, I lean over, tap the brakes, look up, yoink the wheel to the right. So we just slammed into a concrete wall and that just stopped the car. I'm just leading in the face. And, and, and then the guy, after Tyler put his legs above his heart, started beating again. And he goes, oh, someone hand me a water. He wasn't literally, technically wasn't alive. And he's just like, why are we here? Even though Jimmy is smiling while telling this story, everyone gets that this driver almost killed Jimmy and everyone who was in this car. One of the saddest thing is the story of Mr. Beast's old crew. Not many people know that, but Jimmy lost almost all his friends who he started doing YouTube with. Some of them started doing drugs. Some of them just lost the interest in being a YouTuber. But when all your friends leave the thing, you all have been doing for years. This simply crushes your soul. When I had 10,000 subscribers, I met four other people with 10,000 subscribers. We just talked every day for a thousand days in a row. So we started talking every day and we just nerd out and shit on each other. And we all started blowing up. We all hit a million subscribers like a year later we were crushing it and then the reason we fell off one of them he started doing acid and he had a really bad trip you know it was it was bad so but he's good he went to rehab and then another one went back to high school of all things another one left the group to go become a pro Fortnite player and it didn't work out and it was just like it was sad because we were all on this crazy growth trajectory and we were all like went from making like a hundred bucks a month to like a hundred thousand and then I just kept going and they all just got bored and whatever just found reasons wow. to self-destruct and do you keep in touch idiot. with them do they ever hit you up like hey can you help no, me not really thing? one of them does who's crushing he, he went on a bodybuilding phase and just got jacked and for three years did nothing but lifted every day. Even though Mr. Beast doesn't say the names of the friends he lost, some people think it might be Marcus who started doing drugs and Jake the Viking who became a bodybuilder. Let me know in the comments if you think those two are actually them. The next thing that changed Mr. Beast's life forever is internet haters. If you think Mr. Beast has a huge army of subscribers, you're right. But since his audience is too big, even 1% that hating Jimmy and trying to cancel him is almost 2 million people. They have been trying to cancel Mr. Beast over 40 times for the last couple of years and some of the attempts were just crazy. Honestly, like if you're not getting hate, you're just irrelevant. So the fact, like uh. it's just part of it. So I've, I've actually gotten really numb to it and probably to a, a fault where I just, it does nothing to me. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, if you know what you're doing is what you want to do and brings you fulfillment and you're not doing anything wrong, why does it matter? You right. know, like I don't, I don't need to prove to this guy that it is. And so yeah, I'm like super numb to it. That's where sometimes people will show me things and I'll read it and I'll be like, okay. And I'll just keep going out. It's like, what do you want me to do? Sit here and fucking cry, you yeah. know? This only brings us to his strong mental health. Jimmy also said once that 
when he uploads a video and it gets no views, he gets depressed. And the last, but definitely not least, is Mr. Beast's view on love and relationship. This might actually surprise you. Love can be scary because this is, you know, the human you're going to spend the most amount of time with in your life, you know, and so or project that over 50 years, they can be a liability or an asset. <laughs> it's got to be someone that makes you better. For me, I yeah. can't truly love someone that doesn't make me better. Luckily, I'm very happy with the, the partner I have, and like we were talking about before, I do think she makes me better. There's a lot of actually positives I've noticed, even things as simple as like, you know, I struggle to turn off my brain at night because I'm just thinking about all the businesses and how we could do better or whatever weird thing I have on my mind.